Hey everybody, this is Mason Reheater Builder Aaron Schroeder. Just want to take a minute today to talk about the basics of what a Mason Reheater is and how they operate. We had a fire this morning at about 7 o'clock, which lasted approximately an hour. 6 to 7 o'clock tonight, the surface of the stove will cool down to about 120 degrees and it will be time for us to have another fire. The stove will have stayed cozy warm like this all day long. This is the amount of wood that we would burn a typical night when it's going to be a little bit below freezing. We load all of this into the firebox, light it on fire, and shut the door. Peak temperature in the firebox will be around 2,000 degrees. Instead of sending all that heat up and out of the chimney, we send it through channels that are built into the masonry work. As the gases move through the channels, they cool down, the stove itself heats up, and that's what keeps your house warm. This is the kitchen side of our masonry heater. This is the door that we use most often. So if you can imagine in the winter we come in here and we're cold and we have boots and coats. This is just a great place to come into. Keep our boots and our shoes down here under this bench. They're always warm, they're always dry, they're always ready to go for us. This is our bake oven. You're probably used to seeing bake ovens directly above firebox doors, but we can pretty much put them anywhere on a stove that's desired. Okay, this is your damper. Now it's open, and you have your fire. When your fire's done, your damper's closed. It's that simple. So again, my name's Eric Schroeder. We design and build masonry heaters. I love to talk about this stuff, so give me a call, reach out anytime. Thanks for watching.